How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. Excuse my hair. Just can't be bothered to do it today. Don't know what's happened with me. <laughs> I may have rearranged my room again. There we go. Sorry, messy, sorry. There we go. Last time, I promise. Guys, I need to be honest about something. A couple of years ago, you would not have believed how keen, how on point, <laughs> how amazing I was at keeping the gym going. Now, for me personally, I don't intend to um, be like an absolute Hulk Hogan or Slash The Rock, but I feel like Christmas time, I'm gonna eat a lot more, possibly gonna drink a lot more, drink responsibly. I wanna be able to maintain the bod I have, um, but then also get a bit of definition going. I think it's important for me to uh, get in the old gym thing again. No other reason that I want to feel good, I want to feel healthy, I want to look good, nothing wrong with any of them three things. Um, so yeah, if you want to start the gym with me, let me know, we can do it as a team. So the other day I put out uh, a little, what's the word, Instagram story about you guys asking me any personal questions you wanted to, and boy did they come in. Um, so I'm about to just get ready, and then I'm going to hop in the car, and then I'm going to answer some of them for you. <laughs> And I will say, the majority of them are all the same. Um, but we'll get, the, we'll get to that in due course. Oh my God, guys, I forgot how much my lips are affected by this weather. So I'm obviously in the car now, so I thought this would be the perfect opportunity for me to just talk about, you know, them questions that I've been asked over Instagram. Because I've seen a couple of people do it. I know Tanya did one. Uh, questions I've never answered and I thought I'd just do a more casual version of that So I've got my so I've got my piece of paper with everything written out And uh, yeah, let's crack on okay So the first one is have I ever got into a fight or an argument with another youtuber? I can honestly say I haven't I think uh, If I feel like to a certain degree because I feel like YouTubers are, um, like, YouTubers should be portrayed as just normal people with a sort of abnormal sort of way of life, whereas they film their lives and the majority of them have viewers and, like, it is a weird sort of thing. Do you know what I mean? I've always said it's like a, a different type of reality TV. So I feel like if YouTubers are going to argue, I feel like, personally, it should be done behind closed doors. Not many people are going to agree with that because I think people should be open, but I feel like negativity feeds negativity, and I feel like it's not great to be, like, arguing with other people's, like, sort of almost role models or people they look up to or YouTubers that they watch. Like, if I was younger and I saw two of two YouTubers that I watch having an argument over Twitter, I'd be devastated. I'd absolutely hate that. So, oh, yeah. So obviously I have never had a row or an argument on or off YouTube. Um, <clears throat> I try to get on well with everyone. Um, that's just me. That might sound a bit annoying, but I do. I try to get on well with everyone. Um, but the thing is, I'm quite happy to stand up for myself if, like, if something's going on or, like, I'm always so happy to respond to something if I feel like it's not right. Do you know what I mean? But I don't have to feel, and I don't feel like I have to do that in a way that's sort of, like, seen as a fight or an argument. What is my perfect date? Like, seeing someone, it's, like, really cash, it's nice, like, um, like, things are happening quite naturally, it's cool, it's fun, like the other person, but obviously we are dating, going on a couple of dates. <laughs> I can't believe that, literally, just as I was about to tell you, my camera died, so I'm not sure how much I filmed. But anyway, my idea for the perfect date would be to get ready, have a nice glass of red wine, <laughs> uh, be picked up, jump in a cab, have a nice dinner, classy dinner because you know me I'm very classy 
maybe like a real nice rooftop bar for a cocktail um potentially in oxford street there's this one called aqua i absolutely love that place and they also do sushi up there and i <laughs> i said this the other day i love them like i don't know what they're called but they're basically like them the guys in London, oh, where's that sun come from? Hello, sun. The guys are on the bikes and they drive people around and they have like blankets and you can sit behind and they can take you wherever you want in London. Hit another couple of bars, just go to like some really cool places, like cool, I love quirky places, like places that aren't really like massively well known, if that makes sense. Also, like during the day, I love to go like on adventures, so I like hiking and I also like. Um, I like going to museums and stuff like believe it or not I do actually enjoy that sort of stuff um, yeah anything just like cute and fun what do I do when I'm feeling bored and lonely now that's a question that I've been asked a lot since I've moved in on my own I for so long I used to be so on it with my own company um, and then obviously I went to uni and you're constantly surrounded by people all the time. So you sort of lose touch with your own company to a certain degree. Well, I did anyway, because I love being around people all the time. Like I proper feed off people's energies and everything like that. So when I left uni and came home, even though I still had my friends that I'd go out with. On a day-to-day -day basis, while I was searching for a job and finding out what I wanted to do with my life, I did find it really lonely and quite difficult, and it was really hard. And I know I've touched on certain problems I've had in them times where um, I had like really bad panic attacks and stuff like that because of a accumulation of things. Look at that big word. <laughs> um, and it was really difficult because I felt like when I was on my own, I was very on my own, even though I had so many amazing supportive friends and great support system at home. But sometimes that isn't enough and that sounds really selfish and bad. But sometimes it isn't because it's your brain, it's your life, it's your journey, your path. So it's how you feel. Obviously I was doing YouTube, but it wasn't obviously like, it wasn't like a career or it wasn't like massive or it wasn't something I was doing every day, but I really focused my mind on something that I enjoyed. Luckily for me, I'm, I've always been such a creative person, so I've enjoyed that, and I've always had stuff that I could channel my sort of boredom and loneliness into, um, whilst obviously searching for like jobs and stuff, and obviously when I found jobs at my dad's, because I worked at my dad's office for a long time, that really did that really did help but even then that was only like three days a week i don't want to say to you oh yeah just find a new tv show to watch which is great in um in like small doses but you don't really want you don't want to be watching tv and netflix all the time do you even though it's an absolute godsend i would definitely just see all the different avenues you could go down i think like joining classes as well like i started going to the gym that helped my mind and body so much. The next one is, how do I impress my crush? Now, obviously I'm very subtle and slick. For a while, I thought it was the way to someone's heart to impress them by their interests. So you'd find out someone's interests and you'd really take a liking to their interests and sort of sacrifice what I had to offer as a person to make sure that they know that I was interested in what they were saying, which is great, but I honestly think it's 50-50. Um, personally, there has been times where I've sort of taken a step back or a seat back in when I've liked someone, just so I made sure that they were 100% like stimulated in a way like mind and that sort of stuff and like conversational wise. So I, was, I would never rarely talk about myself I and mean, if I did, I'd just turn it back quickly onto them. Which I think's okay if the person you fancy likes talking about themselves. But I've had like a weird epiphany in the space of like, what, three weeks? And it really does change things. If you fancy someone, let them come to you in a way that you put your balls on the table, you put your stuff on the table, 
this is who I am, you either fancy me or you don't. You should never pressure someone or beg someone for a relationship. I saw that on Twitter the other day actually, I thought it was really interesting. Because if people want you, they're gonna want you. I mean, of course, say the odd thing to get them like the juices flowing in the brains and stuff, but don't sacrifice your whole self just to be like, oh my God, I really want that person to fancy me, so I'm gonna do everything I can for them to fancy me. Because, nah, I don't think that is. It's the same with a few things. You're not gonna cheat your way into a job because you really want the job. It should happen naturally, and if it doesn't, maybe it's not for you, and that goes the same with like people. If I'm like, f like falling for someone, and it's getting to the point where I'm like, oh my God, this is not going anywhere, is it worth it? Like, come on now. Hopefully one day down the line, they're actually genuinely like you back. But if not, there's gonna be plenty of other people out there for you that is gonna love you for you and that's the most important thing. So the next question is, do I have a boyfriend? And if so, is it James McVeigh from The Vamps? <laughs> so this is my favorite question because I absolutely love my friends. Honestly, he's got a girlfriend, like obviously no. Definitely not, he's not my boyfriend. We're really close friends and we've just blossomed this amazing relationship out of nowhere. And his girlfriend, I absolutely love her. It's so funny how people pick up on certain things in like, uh, on like social media, obviously, because if I was to see like me sitting on his lap, blowing him a little kiss and all the like the stuff like that. But honestly, no, that is so, so funny. Um, absolutely love James and I love the other Vamps boys as well like it's really nice to hang out with such genuine people oh my ears just popped um when I read this I was like hmm I'm gonna answer it <clears throat> the question is are you proud of how much you succeeded in the past couple of years and I think for me personally I am so so proud of what I've been able to do what I've been able to accomplish um, I will never, ever, ever, ever say to you that I got here on my own. Obviously, I'm myself and I hope to God I haven't changed one iota. But, the thing is, like if it wasn't for like Zoe and Alfie who like welcomed me open arms, who knows, would my channel be as big as it is? Who knows, you never know. These are the sort of things that I don't really have an answer for. Um, they most certainly did put me on a on a wider scale platform but there's only so much they can do in terms of the audience staying with me now if the if the audience stays with me that must have something to do with what I what I'm doing do you know what I mean um, so I'm very proud that I've been able to like really make this really nice community of like positive people like the amount of comments I get in the comment section about saying oh my god like it's so nice to go on Mark's videos and like all the comments are just so positive and nice and happy which it is and I honestly and I don't put my um I don't put my comments on what's the word ah what's the word when you put them on something ah approval um Obviously YouTube to, like takes some away just in case they are quite bad, but the majority of the comments I get through are amazing. Um, so I'm really happy to be a part of that. And obviously what I've been able to do and like travel and like meet new friends and opportunities, I'm so, so proud. And I think anything you do, you should be proud regardless of what you have and what you do. And obviously what I do isn't your ordinary thing, but I need the toilet, <laughs> sorry. But I think you should just be proud. And I am proud, I'm very proud. I didn't ever think that my life would be this, ever in a million years. It's really made me into a, a, a better hard working person doing this as well. I'm really, really thankful that YouTube has taught me and the people around me have taught me like, this is how it's supposed to be. This is what growing up is all about. Um, it's not always about going out and like being crazy and all that sort of stuff. You work hard, and I know some people are watching this and probably saying all you do is film your life and then upload. That, that isn't hard work. 
when you're a voice to so many people and people do actually look up to you, there is a lot of pressure and there is a lot of work that goes into it because you want to be able to be a positive voice for them. And sometimes that ain't easy because every single YouTuber in this world are, hu are humans. It's almost as soon as they're called a YouTuber, that takes that human tag away. So they've got to be something perfect all the time and that ain't that ain't right. Do you know what I mean? That ain't that ain't how life is. No one in this world is perfect. Like I said in the previous video, I'm becoming more and more confident and open and willing to share certain things with you guys because I'm becoming more confident in myself and that's something that money can't buy. Do you know what I mean? So obviously there's still uh, obviously there's still things about me that not everyone knows and um people still want to know but i feel like it does just because i'm a youtuber doesn't make it my job to tell you everything and i think that's the same with everyone if someone's pressuring you to answer certain things or be a certain way do it on your own terms and do it if you feel comfortable there's no pressure just as long as you're happy that's all that matters bloody hell I'm the next Jeremy Kyle, me. Take care of yourselves. I love you so much. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and I shall see you very soon. Bye.